Hey guys, it's Sam, and I am sick again. Yay! <clears throat> so, aside from being sick, it's a new Washi Ween Inktober video. Yay! <laughs> I'm trying to be enthusiastic. <laughs> anyway, look at my look at my sweater. It's cute. It glows in the dark. Finally get to wear it again. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the drawing. I really need to blow my nose. <laughs> So I will do my best to not cough or sniffle, but I don't make any promises. <laughs> so for this one, um, I kind of had a couple different monster ideas in mind. Starting to get a little limited though. I don't know, having, maybe it's because I'm sick. I'm having trouble thinking <laughs> of ideas. But um, I decided to go with a witch and uh, all of my other ideas had some sort of like gentle little twist to them. Nothing super substantial. But, uh, so I was trying to think of like what to do here, and I know uh, with Inktober comes also a lot of witch themes, because I think there's also like a witch-themed Inktober challenge that's really popular, and it's just usually populated by a bunch of female witches, which is fine, <laughs> which is fine, but um, I wanted to do something a little bit different, and then I thought, oh, I could do a male witch, and then play around with that, but then I was like, eh, that still feels kind of boring to me. And I thought, well, what if I did a little boy? What if it was a little boy witch? And I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so cute. But then it's like, what would the twist be? Because him being a little boy witch isn't really a twist, but like, I don't know. So I was like, screw it. I'm not going to have a twist. I just really want to draw a little boy witch. So <laughs> he's not super, super little. He's not as young as I was initially intending, but he's still kind of young. And uh, he has a little backstory. I thought I had a little backstory while we're on stream. So, um, the idea is that he is a witch in training and the robe that he is wearing is actually his mom's robe and he's a candy corn witch so his powers are with candy corn and machi Ant, and i'll put a link in the description definitely check it out machi Ant came up with this super super cute awesome idea of this little candy corn monster and definitely check out the link in the description because he drew it really cute and I was like, initially I was thinking of like putting a frog there, just generic witch thing. I was like, no, let's replace it with this candy corn monster. And just everything became candy corn themed. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was thinking, oh, what if like, because he's so young and he's like a witch in training, maybe he's not like super skilled yet. So maybe when he is making this candy corn monster, he doesn't have like the skills yet to get the yellow color so i made it white and orange and if any of you guys are as avid candy corn eaters as i am you know that that's a really popular one that's like accidentally made anyway like if you buy a bag of candy corn it's really common to find just a white tip with an orange bottom and they're usually much smaller and it's really cute and i know way too much about candy corn <laughs> But it's like, you know, he's still, he has, still has to practice more to get the yellow color. And I thought it was cute, okay? I'm sick. Just, like, give this to me. <laughs> but can I go on, like, a candy corn rant really quick? Because I'm a really big fan of candy corn, all right? I don't know if this was obvious or not. <laughs> but it drives me nuts. Like, whenever I want to try and find candy corn-themed stuff, usually around Halloween, right? Candy corn decorations, my favorite, okay? But like, it seems like 90% of the merchandise has the wrong colors and it just blows my mind because it's like, the colors haven't changed. They've always been white, orange, yellow, at least as long as I've been alive and eating candy corn. I've been eating candy corn since birth, okay? So I <laughs> have really responsible parents. I'm just kidding, please. <laughs> But it's always been white, orange, yellow, white, orange, yellow all the time. And every single like merchandise thing I find, it's white, yellow, orange. And it's like, what are you doing? How, do you just like, oh, I'm just going to do candy corn, but I'm not going to look at a reference. Like, this is why references are so important because <laughs> it's always been the same. I mean, like there's the pumpkin ones, which are nasty. And then there's the other like rip off candy corn ones that are also nasty. It's the original. That's the good stuff. Okay. And even then, like some, you get, there's hit and misses depending on like the brand where you get it and whatever. But like, okay, it's, just, it's a very specific color order. <laughs> and there's so many cute things. I go into a store and I'm like, oh my gosh, candy corn. And then it's like, oh, I can't buy it now because they were stupid and have the color order wrong. And it makes me really upset. And <laughs> so I don't buy it. And I'm just, 
I'm really happy that the washi tape that I have has it in the correct order because like really is it that is it so hard okay and and the rant sorry I just am really passionate about this I have like very few pet peeves that are like really extreme pet peeves and it's people misspelling the two words a lot as one word people mixing up coincidence and irony and people who get the killers of candy corn wrong <laughs> those are like my big three <laughs> Very important, obviously, <laughs> especially that last one. Um, but anyway, so here's the candy corn witch boy and this like candy corn socks and candy corn shoes and a candy corn magic book that he's reading from and learning from and doing his candy corn magic from. And then a little beanie, which was also suggested by uh, Machiant. And then I put little candy corns on that. Only after I drew them in pen did I realize I could have made the whole beanie a candy corn whatever <laughs> and then just Crayola markers as before to just add in a little touch of color and I don't know I think it came out pretty cute and I, I especially just really like the monster so definitely go check out Washi Ant and if you want to participate in Washi Ween I forgot to say it's a Washi Tape challenge so just use the hashtag Washi Ween with your Washi Tape themed art it doesn't have to be Halloween related but yeah let me know in the comments if you do this challenge so that <laughs> so that was it for this drawing. <laughs> so that was it for this drawing. <laughs> um, aside from me being sick, I think it came out really cute. And I really, this, this is my favorite part right here. So thank you once again to Machi Ant. Definitely go check out the link in the description to see his original uh, design concept of this. My brain's really foggy right now. Uh, Go check the playlist to see all of the videos of the Washi Ween. <laughs> the Washi Ween drawings. <laughs> yeah, feel free to comment down below with some ideas for me to draw in the future. And definitely check out my streams on Twitch. I'm sick, but I'm still going to try and stream anyway because it's a lot of fun with you guys. So definitely come check it out. And uh, hopefully you guys are all good and healthy. And drink water. And thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha